What is going on YouTube? Zero Lead here, back again with a new video, episode 45 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. Just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's video, and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, helping me and supporting the channel. I uh, definitely appreciate that. And today we got a couple of things we're working on. We're really going to get into the meat of building our engineering day today. And uh, just want to visualize here with you guys what we're actually going to be working on. Uh, so I've taken the liberty and grabbed a couple of pictures. Now I've stated previously that uh, we're going to be taking a lot of liberties with our engineering bay. And it's not going to be coming out close to what they did on the show. Just because, I mean, it's a CGI mess. It's a lot of openness and it doesn't translate well over into Minecraft. Uh, we could work with something close, kind of like this maybe, but it would pretty much end up with a lot of empty room, kind of like what we, were, we ended up with in episode 44, and that doesn't look very good. So what we're going to have to do in this case is improvise and use our imagination a little bit. So what we're basically going to do, I'll try to describe this the best way I can, but we're going to be fusing the TOS engineering bay with the Constitution refit engineering bay. And this is a picture of concept art from Star Trek Phase 2. It was a canceled show that never took place, and the motion picture ended up taking its place. This is a great reference because this kind of gives us an idea of what we're going to be building. If you look on each side, it has the red dome room that looks like it's a each uh, separate part of the warp core. kind of looks a lot like this room right here. Now, this is our classic warp core or engineering bay. We're basically going to fuse this room with this room. So, that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. So, we've got our reference pictures, and we're just going to hop right into it. Picking right up where we left off here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, in the very middle here, I'm just going to be bringing this walkway all the way back in between these two podiums. Because this is where those two red um, rooms are going to go that I was just talking about just a moment ago. And then the room after this will technically be the second section of our engineering bay. That'll be a little bit closer to what the TOS Enterprise engineering looks like. And I think when this is finished, um, and you guys will see in the end of the video, uh, it won't be complete, but it'll definitely be much closer to what the finished product's gonna be. Um, I think it flows a lot better than what they ended up with. It feels a little bit more familiar. Um, now, not a super long video today. I think we're only at uh, just topping 43 minutes. Oh, I mean, that is kind of a long video, but we've got some stuff to cover today. Um, we're really going to be rocking and rolling. We've been prepping out uh, to bang this out, and we're just getting into it. You see, I'm just adding the black stained glass going just around the warp core, and now we're going to take out a line right behind that of the darker gray. We're going to be replacing this line with the yellow concrete so we can have basically to simulate like a hazard line, like to not walk over this line without extreme caution but the funny part is you have to walk right over this to go to the next part of the ship so but it looks pretty good though all right this is going to be uh floor two of our engineering Just trying to make sure that I'm putting it in the right spot. I actually left that there. Which could have saved myself some time from having to delete that, but whatever. So we're just going to go straight across, and I think we're going to fill this in. We're going to open. 
open this up just on the sides want to make sure that slit is in the middle to maintain our design for our turbo lift doors we'll open it up on both sides need to grab the red concrete because we need to put this on the other side on the edges to make it simulate the doors going three high let's get the left side going three high all right we get this side also looks good start to bring out our walkway a little bit We're just basically going to have to build a circular room kind of going our way around here. But on the sides here, we're going to have to make like um, something to simulate. I mean, something that's generating like a warp field along with the core in the middle. That's kind of like what we're going with. I'm going to bring this back all the way on this side also. All right, cool. We built that right off the pillar. I'll make sure that goes all the way back. Looks pretty good. Go too high. Over to the other side. Repeat that same process going too high. And same thing on this side. So adding one more to make it too high. Perfect. And then we're going to go up and in one, I think. We'll do a layer of red all the way back. We're going to do this on the same other side. we got to do the same thing on the right side of the ship. Repeat that same process again. We're going up and in one more and all the way back. We'll do it again up and in, all the way back. Repeat that for the other sides, and then we're going to make some cuts in this two rows that we just added. One more. Side, and two more. We're going to go every other one. We're just going to cut out a row going all the way back. Same thing on this side. Let's go to the other side and repeat the same process. Looking pretty good so far. And I didn't directly show it, but I base what I'm building right now is inside of that red room inside of the TOS engineering bay. If you look inside of it, it has like these archways. Um, so that's kind of like what I'm trying to simulate right now. Now we're going to go along the cut of the red line. Not building in front of it, but around it. Going along with the cut and deleting any access. And then we're going to build another archway on the other side. Do the same thing. Going with the cut. Alright, we're looking pretty good.
we'll delete that last red one. Then we're going to do that. I deleted one extra. Got to fix that. Right underneath the red, we're adding a grow or line of the dark gray concrete going all the way back. Making sure that the last row of red, deleting that. So remember, we're deleting every other row. And this is just where it comes into working with the area that you have, you know. Um, between this video and the last video, I've just made the decision to uh, mold those two pictures together that I showed you guys because I figured that I had just enough room to do that within this space. And it works out really well, but, you know, that's really just what it comes down to when you're building these things. You just got to work with the area that you have available and try to make it, you know, as close to the picture as possible. In some cases, you got to take some liberties. But for us, really, that just came down to that I didn't agree with how it looked. And hey, if you don't like that and you liked how it originally looked, let me know in the comments section. If you liked how this came out, let me know in the comments section. Comment below. Definitely appreciate uh, hearing the feedback and just comments in general regarding the build. And uh, you can see here we're rocking and rolling. We're just adding our archways in every corner, just going along with the simple pattern of up and in so we're just going up two and then the top row is going to be three on the two on the main hallways so we're going to do that same thing on this back hallway now First, we're going to close that in. I know right now I'm using the white quartz, but I want that to stick out just a little bit. Don't want it to blend in with the rest of the hull. But I don't know if that looks good. We might just switch that to the gray. Doesn't look bad. Let's throw it down and see how it looks. Because from the outside here, we're not going to see it. We're only going to see it from the inside, and it's going to be through a window. So I want it to have a slightly different color, but it's not going to look as white, I guess, when we're seeing this from the other side. So we'll just fill it in, last row. One more. All right. Let's check that out. That looks pretty good. It's basically what I was going for. Close up the top two rows. This bottom row is nothing we can do. That's just going to have to be down one. The same thing on this side. Just complete that. Also have to do the outside. Going back to the white uh, quartz. You can see I'm going one above our red line, just so we're not covering up any of the work. It should stick out one row. Got two more rows to complete, and one more. Now let's close those up. Perfect. Looking pretty good. And we can't go any further back. We're at our hull limit. Maybe do a red line like that. It might not look so bad. Maybe at the top here. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go in the middle. That looks way better. Yeah, I like that in the middle there, that red line. And now 
we're back on the white concrete and we're just completing a red line just every other one. So it just completes that ribbing pattern. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And a lot of our warp core room up here is done. We have to close in the roof. We have to blend in our walkway, but we're definitely getting there. All right, we're going to switch over to the second part. Still got about 30 minutes left in the build. We're going right back into it. Now we are down just below the shuttle bay. We're in the shuttle bay turbo lift. And we're going to complete the detailing from the last episode that we didn't do. So we're going with the same pattern every other one. Adding in a gray, dark gray line between our white blocks. And then adding in our turbo lifts where they need to be. Same pattern as before, the red concrete, white concrete, and then red concrete, three high. And if you forgot that pattern, just go back to the last two episodes to check that out. And we're closing the roof here, I think. It's going along with the same height that we currently have. Not too worried about the color being different in certain spots. We'll probably add in another row of blocks at some point to blend that in a little bit easier. At this point, all the flooring that we're filling in, we're not going to see any of this anyway. So it's no big deal. Couple more lines complete. And we're looking good. Let me see, we got a decent sized space to work with for our cargo room. Not sure what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to try to come up with something pretty cool. We're going to flesh out some of our walkway here. I think the problem is it's not coming down far enough. I might add one more row. And that's as far down as I can go. Lighting in, doing it on each side. Looks pretty good. At this point, with some of it, it's really not that difficult because we're just repeating the same patterns as before with our turbo lift. So that's definitely going to make this a little bit easier for at least this part of it. Ship's definitely coming together up here. We're up in the shuttle bay control room. Going back down the main turbo lift. And now we're back in engineering. So now we're going to go along with the cut. Right with the opening here, I'm just going one and over. 
And the same thing. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go up a row and just blend it in. We're using the dark, darker gray concrete, just one darker from the white. Repeat this all the way across, just going along with the cut. Still have to do the front one for our main walkway that blends into the second part of our engineering bay. We're going to have to close that in here in just a second. Going back again with a cut. Probably take that straight back. Let me go up and in. That's straight across. It's pretty simple, just went along with the pattern that we already had established where we layered that up. If you need to rewind to watch that again, how we did that. But now we're just going to have to start closing in our roof, which we're going to continue on with the pattern again. But now we're going to go and we're going to build on top of our top row here on the darker blocks. Had an access block back there, I deleted that, and now we're continuing on. We're using our white concrete again. And now we're going to go one more row up. We're going to do a third row. It's kind of hard to see because I'm looking up, but I mean, pretty much one just to complete your wall here that we're establishing. We'll blend it in as we go. That should be closed in now. Now we're going to add a row at the very top, going all the way around. Or maybe on just the two sides. So it'd be just the two far sides so that each side of the red two uh, warp core generators, I guess you can call them. We just added those two rows at the very top. And we need to blend in this area here. Just going to go with the gray. Bring this line that we have going all the way around, all the way back. The same thing on the right side, bring this all the way back. All right. We are looking pretty good. So we have the first part of our engineering bay completed. Well, not completed, but we've got the, the groundwork done for. We're going to make a couple of tweaks here and there as we go. But the base of it is up, and I think it actually looks great. You know, again, I took some liberties, but at the same time, 
this room that I built right here, this was on the original Enterprise. We just used the concept art, and the concept art had one on each side of it, which just happened to work out for our design. So I got the monster spawner grading. Didn't think about adding some floor grading. Cover this, but when I close this up, I don't like how it looks. And I'm going to change this out. Ultimately, this is going to be red glass that I just filled in. Not sure if I do that at this point or if that comes later on. But you can definitely fill that in now if you want to, and that'll bring you right up to speed where I'm currently at on it. Let's see. I'm going to switch back over. I think we're going to go to the glass. Now we're going to do the same thing. We'll just replace it with glass, and I think that looks way better. And this is where I was talking about that, you know, I think that they dropped the ball, that they could have in some ways stayed a little bit more true to the um, interior of how the Enterprise looked and that in some respects, you know, it can look a little bit retro. It's okay because, you know, the ship's at this point 10 years old or over 10 years old, you know. So um, I think that's kind of like how this is looking here. It has like a definitely has a retro feel to it, and I really dig that. Um, that was exactly what I was going for here, and uh, I hope that you guys like this too. I've been super excited to get to this point in the tutorial to start showing off some of these rooms that I came up with because they they just they came out awesome. So now we have this next room to, to play with here. So I'm going at an angle here with these gray blocks. Just had a cut going straight at an angle off of this original block here. I'm just trying to get an idea of what I want to do. And I didn't like that. It was a little bit of a challenge to figure this part out. I don't think when I did the warp core uh, room, I had exactly uh, decided to make this room look like uh, the TOS engineering room. But that's ultimately where we fall. Um, some of the stuff that I'm putting down now, um, it's going to stay here, but we're going to make some significant changes to this room as we go. Um, and that's just kind of how I like to build sometimes. Uh, I'll put something down, and then I'll make a change to it. Kind of like what we did on the outside of our ship. But again, you just kind of got to throw something down sometimes to see how it looks and, you know, let it sit before you make some changes. So now you can see I'm continuing the same pattern. I went two back, and now I'm going up at an angle every other uh one and make sure to count that out doing the same thing making sure they're the same length that they're stopping the same point looking really good where we're at right now you can see i kind of got that design off of um we did in the shuttle bay and that's kind of where i was thinking i was like you know maybe i can make that design like that uh, angle the up straight and down right there you know flow throughout the ship and there's some parts of it that have a little bit of that but i end up changing this and this ends up being like um an engineering console type deal later on 
it's not really a name for it because a lot of times, you know, when you're looking at this stuff, it's not like they have it labeled or anything. So you just kind of make it up as you go, looking at the pictures. Right now, you see I'm just building out my flooring. This will be laying out our groundwork to make it a little bit easier as we're, we come back to this room later on to make some changes because now it's the on our next pass um, when we do this it's going to be a little bit more uh, fuller and easier to envision how things are coming along because before we just kind of had like this big unfinished room so everything that we're adding in with the walls and floors, it's going to help us bring the room together a little bit more and see where we need to make these changes, you know. We're just bringing this floor, basically we're covering this whole surface, going straight across. Because the way that this room looks presently at the angle that it's going, it actually really resembles uh, the engineering bay from the original TOS Enterprise, which is why this room ultimately ends up looking like that, because it just dawned on me. I was like, you know, this looks just like that area. I might as well just make it look like that even more. And you can see I'm just blending this in a little bit. Well, you don't want to get rid of all of our curves, just a little bit on the sides here. We're going to flatten this out. We're going to do the same thing on this side, just where the grain line it starts, just to make sure that the wall is flat going all the way down. It'll look a little bit better. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to bring this gray line all the way back. We'll just add another row, maybe. We also need to bring the flooring back one more. Let's get rid of that extra one. And uh, I've been definitely having some people ask me about uh, the next build that I have going on. Uh, you know, like I said, it's uh, definitely going to be a TNG era ship. Um, Next on my list is the Enterprise D and Voyager, not in that order. Um, getting kind of to the point where I'm already planning out my next builds. Uh, we still have some more stuff to do on the Enterprise, on the Discovery Enterprise. Um, we have uh, a few more uh, rooms to work on at Lower Hull and also in the Saucer section. Um, I've been getting pretty good feedback with that, so I'm just going to keep that going. Um, my plan is is to build out the rest of the interior of this ship but i've got other stuff planned as well that i'm going to be doing for you guys um, i can announce at this point that i'm going to start doing arc builds again um, for arc survival evolved on my private servers that i host for kingdom of asgard koa servers i'm really excited about that uh, so definitely uh, keep an eye out for that if you enjoy the building on survival games um, i've got some really cool stuff that i do for that as well so i'm going to have uh, New builds coming for Minecraft and Ark Survival Evolved, which have been the two main games that I've been doing on here. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, if you have any questions regarding this, enter this current tutorial that I'm doing, drop a comment below. I'm usually pretty responsive in the comment section. If I don't get to your comment, um, chances are I'm probably getting ready to answer it in a video, or I may have already. But as you can see here, I'm just kind of blending in the wall. A little bit looks like it took out one too many got to fix that I'm just making it so that inside this cut here it's only too deep anything more than that we're gonna fill that in so this is what the finished product should look like and that looks pretty good we have to fill in this area here We're going to complete that gray line on the left side too. I don't know if we'll incorporate that into the wall. Well, we might. Yeah, we'll go all the way up from behind that line. 
So from the line that we just added, we're going back one, and we're with white concrete, we're going all the way up, filling that in. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going back one, and we're going to go all the way up. Let's see how that looks. Looks all right. It needs a little bit of love, but it's a start. We are definitely jamming here. We're already uh, at 10 minutes uh, left in the video. 33 minutes have flown by. We've definitely gotten a lot done in this episode. Um, I was considering breaking these up into two episodes, but uh, I really wanted to make sure that episode 5 uh, got some stuff done because uh, in episode 44, I feel like we were doing a lot of prep work to get to this point. And uh, I feel bad when we're doing that, but nonetheless, those are still very important builds if you're still with me doing this tutorial series. Uh, so that's why I'm doing, still showing you guys the mundane parts of it, because it's still a very, nonetheless, a very important part of our builds. Um, but we're making some solid progress here. I think uh, we can pat ourselves on the back, because we have our lower hull, it has been sectioned off, so now we have... All of our rooms plotted out for our lower hull, pretty much. Um, so, I mean, it hasn't seemed like we've gotten that much work done, but, I mean, we really have. We've gotten a ton of work done on our ship, and uh, we're definitely moving along here. You can see I'm trying to mess with my walkways here. I'm up in the deflector control room, but, again, this the stuff that I'm adding on is just taking away from the hull structure lines that we added on in the previous video. I feel like no matter what I do with the walkways, it just takes away from that. So I might just leave them where they're at. Um, I don't know, maybe do a staircase going down where they can get to the bottom of it or something. I don't know. If you have a suggestion on that, drop that in the comments below. I'd definitely love to hear your feedback about it. Um, but uh, this is kind of the shape of uh, the structure of our lower hull on the interior, it's not going to deviate from where we're, we're moving towards right now. We pretty much have it broken up into the sections that it's going to be on the last two levels of our engineering bay that we're in right now. We're going to have to close in the floors on these two levels, obviously. Um, but uh, we're definitely moving along here. You can see I'm adding in, I'm one level below our main deck. So now I'm just adding in my flooring here. And on this level, you're going to bring this all the way back on both sides. We're just going to fill all of this in. Now I'm using the darker gray concrete, but not black. Really not going to be using black at all on this build unless we want something to really stick out. We got a couple of rows we got to do on the other side now. We got a decent area to play with, though. You see in the very bottom level, we're going to have a couple of foundations high that uh, we won't be able to do anything with underneath, but we just don't, we just don't have enough room at the very bottom to add another deck below this. We've got enough room to add just one more, but anything more than that, um, we're going to have to call it a day. But that's okay. I think all things considered, um, I think we end up with like three or four decks on the lower hull, which is pretty respectable. I think that's not bad. I've seen people do this ship that they have hundreds of rooms, but they don't have any of them filled in. So that's our goal here. Less is more. We're going to work with what we have. 
not going to go too crazy trying to have 100 rooms, but making sure what we do have has an impact. So now these are the struts that we had built in the previous couple of episodes um, that was going around our warp core. I'm just building this going all the way down because eventually we're going to use this frame to build out um, the next level of our uh, engineering rooms. And this is basically the room that's going to turn into uh, where Spock would have gone in uh, the end of um, the Wrath of Khan, where he goes inside and breaks into the warp core to save the Enterprise. So that's some, again, you know, that's why I've said you want to, when you're doing these ships, get the moments, you know, think about all, every single thing you can think of from the movies and the more of the stuff that you can add in, the more it's going to help bring the ship to life, at least even a little bit, because somebody might see that and be like, oh, that was from that part in the movie. I get it, you know? See, I'm just filling in our roof here. Need to add in a sea lantern there, just couldn't see. So, yep, this will be the room where Spock, unfortunately, bites the dust. But he comes back, he saves the Enterprise, and he comes back in the next one. A couple more holes here to fill in on the roof. We're almost done. And I think we've got one or two more. I think there's a strip right here, and that might be it. Add a couple of more sea lanterns, maybe. Oh, see? That's why you want to throw those down, just so you can see a little bit better, because you'll definitely miss it. Still a decent sized room to play with, and then we have another deck below it that we can do something else with it if we want to also. See, again, where we're at right now, we're going to have to add another level. And I think we'll be able to go like maybe two foundations below, but yeah, we'll only be able to go one down. So this is this is our bottom deck right now. Because we are just out of room. And even though we're on the bottom deck, we still have a little bit of room to play with here. See, that's a strut for our warp core, still going all the way down. You see, even though there's white blocks back here, what we can do, you could either leave this here um, and just make it part of the design of the ship and that you just have, you know, a couple of floor that's white, or you could always, on this deck, um, use uh, dark gray uh, carpet to fill that in. And it would... It won't look, it'll stand out from the rest of the ship, but it'll at least um, make it all one color. But that's not what I ended up doing. I ended up honestly just having the two separate colors and just, you know, at this point, form meets function, you know. So I just kind of go in with what I got to work with. I got two more rows of filling after this. And I think that's going to wrap up this episode. All right. So we've got our floors in place for our bottom two engineering decks. I had put a, I was going to put a room here, but um, I decided not to. We got to put a, a red door lines here and then a white block in the middle. Um, I've actually got to switch that to white concrete, not the quartz. 
And then on the sides, we're going with three high with a red concrete. All right, looking good. See how good that looks as we're going up? It really kind of makes you feel like you're shooting up through a turbo lift. And our ship is coming together. See, as we're walking through it now, it definitely feels more like a full ship. And we still have a little bit of work to do on the outside of our shuttle bay. We'll I think uh should be soon that we'll be fixing that, but... Yeah, we, we've gotten a lot done today. Um, you can see we built out a lot of our engineering. Bay. We're still, I think we're here for a couple more episodes. We have some more work to do, but um, we're definitely rocking and rolling. I love how this came out. Um, but I think that's going to wrap it up for episode 45. Uh, I really hope uh, everybody enjoyed today's episode. And I just want to thank you again for uh, tuning in to today's video and uh, supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, and if you haven't, again, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate that as well. And uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for episode 46. That's coming up. And in fact, you guys can always check out new episodes Monday through Saturday. The only day I don't have new episodes coming out is on Sundays. All right. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Just want to thank you again for tuning in to today's episode. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.